Good morning, dear parents, teachers, and students. Say good morning, sister. I know you are very restless. Give me only two minutes, okay? 
Now today for the sake of the uh, nation, our nation, India, we have to bear a little bit of hot. Okay? Understand? Two minutes, just two minutes. Yes. Esteemed teachers, dedicated staff, respected parents, and all gathered here, as we come together on this auspicious and momentous day, our hearts swell with pride and gratitude. Today, we don't just commemorate a day or a date, we celebrate the spirit of freedom and honor the sacrifices made to secure that freedom. Independence Day holds a special significance in the annals of our nation's history. It marks the culmination of years of struggle, resilience, and an unwavering belief in the principles of liberty and justice. As we unfold the tricolor today, on this 7th Independence Day of our nation, we must pause and reflect on what it symbolizes. The deep saffron stands for courage and sacrifice, the white represents peace and truth, and the green signifies faith, fertility, and growth. In its center is the Ashoka Chakra, echoing the eternal will of law and reminding us of our duty to uphold justice and righteousness. Today, I urge every one of you to think of our brothers and sisters who are really struggling especially in Manipur and various parts of India. When they are respected, do we really give them justice? How can the nation be happy when one part of the nation is burning? Does India care for them at all? Do we think of these people who are struggling? August 15, 1947 was a great day of rejoicing for us, a day of new life, new government and new promise. On this day, India breathed the air of freedom from foreign rule. Freedom from domination is, a, is perhaps one of the most precious gifts one can possess. But do we enjoy freedom from exploitation, corruption, homelessness, unemployment, inequality, inflation, poverty, and hunger? At the moral level, do we enjoy freedom from sin, superstition, immorality, fanaticism, untouchability and communalism? Our school isn't just a place of academic learning. It is an institution that prides itself on shaping responsible, informed and conscienti conscientious citizens. Each one of you, dear students, embodies the future of this nation. The values we instill in you today will guide the choices you make tomorrow. It's essential to understand that freedom isn't merely the right to act one pleases as one pleases, but also carrying the responsibility for those actions. As educator grasps the weight and the worth of this free freedom, on this Independence Day. In the age of digital connectivity, you have information at your fingertips. But I urge you to go beyond the scenes, dwell into our history, understand the struggles and appreciate the price and paid for our freedom. It's equally important to be aware of the present, to know your rights and responsibilities and to actively participate in the democratic process. As we celebrate today, let's also go ahead. Let's envision in India that's not only technically advanced and economically prosperous, but also socially equitable and environmentally sustainable. Let us work towards an India where every citizen, irrespective of their background, has equal opportunities to learn, grow and thrive. In closing, let us carry forth the spirit of unity, the commitment to serve, and the determination to continually elevate our great nation. May we inspire by our past, driven by our present, and hopefully be for our future. Thank you for joining us today for this program. And here we go forward to see a brighter, 
stronger and more unified in India. Thank you and thank you one and all. It is an honor for me to question a successful one. On behalf of St. Anne School and all members of the institution would like to begin by expressing my profound gratitude to the creator and preserver of this world, the Almighty God, for making today's event a rousing success. We are able to make events like this one possible via His grace and blessing. Um, parents must be waiting for children. Just stay back two minutes. They'll go inside and then they'll come back. Teachers, please take them. Nursery, get up. Nursery children. Nursery. So, Haley, please arrange sweets for them. So, for students. Nursery, please get up. I said only nursery. Why everybody is getting up? Sandy, wait. Nursery students get up. Megha, are you all in nursery?